Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to show you this little tag I'm making this morning. I'm working in an encyclopedia that I bought, let's see, I can see from here the shelf that they're on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these for, no, these were free. I was thinking these came from a thrift store where the books are 25 cents. These were actually free outside of the ReStore, the Habitat for Humanity. So I went ahead and took these and I just felt, I'm, 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 I'm tired, but it's a happy tired. I thought, what can I do this morning to be creative? So I pulled one of these off the shelf over here to the art desk and just started flipping through the pages. Uh, first of all, you get really fun art pages to work with later when you work with ink stamps and paints and things on top of book pages. I can't, I think maybe it was Shannon Green that I saw using a book just to wipe her brushes on and stuff and she ended up with this amazing book. A, a lot of you do that. Uh, so I did not think of this. I saw somebody else do it first and it, it really does make for some amazing art pages and really just a cool book. You, you could turn this into a journal later by taking pages out or altered book, I should say. Uh, these little cutout flowers are so popular right now. Um, I've seen so many people doing these, so many people. They're just, they, just these really simple little cutouts. So I cut out a flower after sketching one the arms on this, so let, let me backtrack a little bit. I also wanted to use this book as inspiration. I started flipping through the pages, came across this picture of Emily Dickinson. It was just completely, um, you know, from her shoulders up, so no body, and I wanted to create a, a body or a dress. Used a scrap piece of scrapbook paper, I think, Oh, here's, here's the rest of it. So it had this design on the back and cut it straight down. The arms are cut out of some heavy mixed media or watercolor paper. And you know, I had these, uh, these little brads that I bought at Joann's. Uh, some of these went into recent pen pal packs, I guess a couple of months ago. And you always wonder, or I, I always wonder, some people wonder, what do I do with all these little things after I have them and they're just sitting in the workshop? Uh, I decided to use them to attach these arms that I just sort of freehand drew and cut out. The yellow pockets on the dress are from punching a one inch circle, cutting it in half, and then stamping it with uh, this Tim Holtz Distress ink and adding some water. Or wait, this might have some acrylic paint on it as well. I think the arms are all Distress Ink. I started with this mustard seed. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to get mixed up on what I used where. I started with the mustard seed and then I used the peacock feathers and this stamp with the little polka dots to stamp the arms. I decided to go back over it with some water, which really spread out the paint or the the. Uh, ink from the ink pad and I love the way that looks and then I took my stamp that's got the words all over it I've used this thing a million times. I love this. I stamped her sleeves with text Obviously, she is a very much loved and famous writer. I want to hide the edge of these sleeves We're gonna glue this on I might want to add some more color to this so I haven't glued it onto the tag yet I thought what I would do though is punch another one inch circle out and maybe if I can do this, I need, I need a circle that's a little bit less than an inch. So I'm gonna try to go around the edge and I know it's not gonna be perfect. I just wanna take a little strip off of the entire circle to make the circle smaller. And it's okay if it's not a perfect circle. In fact, it might be better that way, but I don't know if this is the paper that I want to use. Um, See, I want to kind of cover up, make it like a pocket, and her hand is in the pocket. And this was just a very relaxing, uh, fun way for me to come back out here and do something creative, use up some supplies, and not feel pressured. And she makes a lovely paper doll. I didn't know if I wanted the stripes or 
if maybe the theme with the words would be better. So let's go ahead. I wonder if we, I wonder if I even need to trim any off. We could stagger it a little bit, like bring it, maybe do it like that. I kind of like that. Oops, but the words need to be right side up. I mean, she was a, she was a writer for goodness sake. We can't have the, can't have the words all over the place. I like that better than the stripes because uh, she's all about words. And then I've already lost my little, my little flower that I made. Oh, here it is on the side of the book. I would love to put together some more uh, pen pal packs. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that done today or not. I think I'm going to put some dots on these because it seems like maybe that's what some different people were doing. And it really adds, it just adds some action to the page. Adds energy to the little tag. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it might need a little bit more color. So the, uh, whoops. This background, I will show you where that came from. The uh, tag is made from just a manila folder. I saved the pieces that I cut off. I had a stack close by, but I'm not going to go look for it. When I make my soft cover journals, I save the off cuts and turn them into tags or little labels or whatever. So I just grabbed a piece of that this morning and cut it into the shape of a tag. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the first thing I did was to go around the edges with this purple gelato by Faber-Castell. This is in my Amazon shop. It's one of my favorite things. I've linked it as a product if anybody's interested. I love gelatos. They're like crayons, but you can also, you know, use a paintbrush just to dip some color off of it. They blend really nicely. There are beautiful colors. And uh, last time I checked, there are several different sets that you can purchase different colors. Some are shimmery, some are just, um, you know, whatever the word is, not shimmery. So with the dots, yes, I like that better. Let's put that at the bottom of the tag. We've got her pockets. The little wings behind her came from this dragonfly stamp, and I've used this thing so many times. Her wings could be bigger, but I like that they're sort of, you know, they're the size they are. I like them. I'm not going to complain. And I'm not going to fret and wish I had done a better job. Because when you do things like this, it just, it, it is what it is. And turns out the way it's going to turn out. And we learn every time we make something. So let's put this maybe right here. I really want to I have a saying in mind or just a little thought that came to mind that I want to write onto the tag. I'm going to punch a hole in the top so that we can really call it a tag. Not sure if I'll put a grommet in that. We may add some ribbon or something. I love that the little brads here are in the shape of a heart. We had the different colors, but I like the pink. So going back to the tag, I had painted the edges with the gelato, and then I have this really fun flat stamp here with all the different designs. I used, let's see, you can see some of the colors here. I know I used the peacock feathers, and I think the other color was this Tim Holtz Abandoned Coral. And I put color just around the edges, not in the center, because I wanted to uh, I actually, instead of laying the stamp on the tag, I did it this way and made sure that her face and upper body were going into an area with no ink. So I got the design all the way around. You could do it in a more layered fashion where you put this design all over the tag and then glue your paper doll down. But I was just, I was really trying to unwind from working so much this past week. And I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to think ahead. I was just doing, doing whatever came to mind and whatever felt relaxing. And I'm wondering if this, yeah, we, it feels dry across here. And I wonder if this is going to write.
I wrote her heart was on her sleeve, which is kind of what you do when you're a writer or even when you put yourself out there with a channel, with a business, you know, if you're any kind of performer like my sweet Jason, uh, you really do have your heart on your sleeve sometimes and that can be a really vulnerable place. Yeah, so I, the little brads made me think too that that would be a good idea. Just gonna put my little initials over here. And I love that. I think it turned out great. I don't know if I want a grommet or not. And I don't know what kind of, what do I want in here? Do I want anything in there? That's the question. Kind of like this. This is Twisted. Uh, Lori, who came to the retreat was it 2022? I think that's the year when we had a retreat here in Durham. She brought some of this that she had made and I guess it's just twisted. Uh, you have to tie a knot again in the end so that it doesn't come undone. And I, I'm, I haven't thought far enough ahead to know how I'm gonna attach this at the top. That's kind of interesting too, just to have it hanging like that. But I don't think I want that I don't think I want to do that. I don't want that big knot right above her head. So if we, I'm wondering if I tied it in one knot, if it would not unravel. And I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if it did come undone a tiny bit. So let's untie these knots and see if we can just tie one knot here with both of these pieces. Pull it up to the top. There we go. I like that. I really like the way that turned out. So that's my project for right now. I will be back really soon. I have so many journal ideas. And as you already know, I'm in the middle of about three or four journals that I'm always working on. So I need to catch everybody up with that. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be back soon, and I hope everybody's doing great, and bye for now.